Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. So I guess this is kind of part two. This is um, creating Princess Ella. This is using the 5x7 impact collapsible chroma key background. Um, the last video I did, for those of you who haven't seen it, I'll put the link below, but the last video was creating Princess Lily. These are both my daughters. Um, so it was uh, dress up time. Uh, we got the princess dresses on and we shot them with a very simple lighting setup in front of the uh, Impact 5x7 uh, chroma key background. Um, and it, it worked great in the sense I'm really pleased with it. It's very easy to pop open, very easy to collapse again. So setup is a dream. It's very quick and it works very well. Chroma key colors are very good. Uh, very uh, well, well built um, background. And the... Um, Velcro straps that are attached on all the edges uh, are very nice for a quick, easy setup for hanging it or for just, I just hung it on a um, light stand. So uh, if you haven't seen the uh, initial impressions and unboxing, you should go back and check that out too. I'll see if I can put the link below for you. Um, the backdrop works great. Let me show you some of the shots. Here is the setup, very similar to um, the previous video, exact same setup. It is the, um, the impact uh, chroma key background in the back background, the background in the background there. And you've got the 32-inch uh, Neewer softbox with a SB26 Nikon speed light in it with a wireless remote. And there's Ella just waiting patiently, doing a little pose. And um, so yeah, the lighting here is just simple, simple. One speed light, one 32-inch softbox pretty much um, on camera, not not on camera in the sense of it's in the hot shoe, just from the same um, perspective. So we're shooting from the like, you know, same direction as the camera, I'm just ducked down below it. So it's from a little bit above, a little bit angled down and uh, using a wireless uh, trigger and remote. Um, and I'll put the uh, links for those as well down below. I'll put the links for the softbox, the wireless trigger, and uh, for the, uh, obviously the impact 5x7 collapsible chroma key background. Um, here's Ella, here's the first shot. So that's her, her holding up her dress on the, uh, on the chroma key background there. And then uh, these are shot with, by the way, the previous uh, video, we were using the G7 with the uh, 25 mil F17, which is an equivalent 50 mil. These are shot with the Nikon D810 and the 85 millimeter F18G, just to shake it up a bit. I love that combination. It's a great lens, especially on the full frame D810, and it's uh, it's a bargain to boot. Uh, here is the finished result. Here's when we swap out the green chroma key for uh, a background, and you saw this background with Lily. I did the same backgrounds for both of them because you know when you have kids, they both have to get all the same stuff, or um, there's arguing. <laughs> Anyways, um, we used the same process as when we worked on Princess Lily. Used select color range option in Photoshop and um, did the background removal that way. Takes care of it very easily, a little finessing, say five, 10 minutes in Photoshop and you're done. And that is the result. Um, and then we took um, the background out and here's the second background, same image. So this is image number one, but background number two. So it's very easy just to swap out the background. It just takes a second. You've already done all the work on isolating your subject with the chroma key removal. Um, and then we have our second image. So this is the second image of Ella. And there she is standing smiling with her cute little grin, hands held in front, in front of the chroma key, the chroma key background, stumbling over that there. Um, there is a different background. We use the same uh, chroma key removal. So that is the uh, select uh, color range option in Photoshop. And that's what happens when you um, get that all tweaked and then you pop in another background. I think it looked pretty good, especially for one light and one quick collapsible backdrop. Very decent setup. Could have worked on the hair maybe a little bit more, but actually that one I'm pretty impressed uh, with myself, if I do say so. That was a very quick edit, probably done in five or 10 minutes for both of them. Um, and uh, then the next one here, that's just swapping out backgrounds. And you can see, I think I played with the toning in the hair a little just to make it blend with the, the pinks and purples on here. But uh, that's the same shot. That's image number two, 
background number four. So that's a different uh, subbed in background. Once you do, once you've got the original, I can't stress enough, once you have the original isolation from using the chroma key, like once you've done the work to remove the chroma key, it's just as easy as pie to drop in whatever backgrounds you want. So overall, again, same as with Princess Lily, this setup worked great for Princess Ella. The uh, Impact 5x7 collapsible chroma key background is very easy to work with. It pops up and collapses down again in, in seconds. It's very, very easy. Um, and then setting up um, the newer softbox, I have the newer 32-inch softbox there uh, with an SB26 and wireless triggers. The whole thing, five, 10 minutes set up, five, 10 minute tear down. Very, very easy to work with. Um, very pleased with the results. As I said in the previous video, I could have gone more complicated with a pair of lights from either side in the front and a pair of lights in the back. And that's certainly what I work with here when I'm doing me on the green screen for videos uh, because I don't have to move them around all the time. It's They're in a constant setup position here. I don't have to set them up and tear them down. Um, not to say you couldn't do that on site. It's certainly, if you're doing a lot of work that way, it makes it really easy to get perfect chroma key results. These ones though, I think looked really good and they were done with one speed light, one softbox. Um, and I can't stress enough, um, how quick that setup was. The fastest thing to set up was the collapsible background. Uh, I'll put the links below. That's the uh, Impact 5x7 chroma key collapsible background and um, the newer softbox, remote triggers, and um, yeah, that, uh, oh, and the D810, beautiful. Nikon 85 millimeter F18G on there. Really loving that combination. I like it on the D610 as well, but man, do you get a power image file uh, with tons of croppability, tons of dynamic range, tons of resolution, tons, very, very sharp. Everything is just beautiful. What a combination, 85 F18G and the D810 on there. Anyways, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below or comments uh, in general about uh, using chroma key, how I did it, whatnot, if I've left something out, uh, leave your comments below. Any feedback's appreciated too. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com. Thanks.